Hi guys, welcome to this Upgrad webinar. I'm your host and moderator for the afternoon, evening or morning, wherever you are based in the world. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I, just to introduce myself, uh, my name is Tom Atkinson. I currently head up the sales and growth um, partnerships for the EMEA region for Upgrad. Uh, I'm joined today by a couple of people that uh, I'm super excited to hear from. Um, Shashwat Ramesh, who is the Vice President of Learning Experience here at Upgrad. Uh, for those of you who don't know what that means, which may be a few of you, um, Shashwat is uh, in charge of essentially a student's journey after they enroll into any of Upgrad's programmes. He's going to provide a, a really valuable insight into that side of of the business and, and that side of what students go through essentially. Um, and everything from how you interact with subject matter as a student all the way through to a student's interactions with professors, industry mentors and peers. We're also joined um, with, uh, oh, sorry, by Riddhi Sashdeva, who's in charge of content development uh, for all of our management programs. So she essentially ensures that the content is current, relevant, implementable in the real world and of course, hugely engaging. Uh, thank you very much for joining us guys, Shashwat uh, and Lily, really thank you very much for being here. Uh, looking forward to hearing you guys speak. Um, I think we are gonna start off with a quick poll. This is essentially to give us a bit of an idea about who you are while you're watching this live. Um, just take 10, 20 seconds just answering a couple of questions. Um, this is gonna help us massively because we'll be able to see who's on the call, see who's engaging, and we'll be able to tailor a little bit the answers that we uh, that we can give so it's more relevant to you guys. Just to map out what's going to happen after that, if you've got any ad hoc questions and there's anything that pops into your mind, chuck it in the chat box. Uh, we'd be really excited to hear from you. Um, and if you all who are live on this today, if you want to just say hi to make sure that you can, you can all hear me, just put a little note down there. And if you wish, please don't hesitate to put down where you are and what your name is. Um, and also what you're looking um, have a think about what you're looking to get out of this. I know it's one of the questions, what you're expecting from the session, um, but have a real think about that because we'll be able to answer proper questions in the Q&A session at the very end. So any formal questions, any questions specifically uh, that we can direct to any of the panelists, chuck them down in the Q&A at the very end and we'll get to them. Uh, thank you very much and uh, we, we are ready to kick off. So uh, thanks, Tom, uh, and uh, welcome everybody uh, to this webinar. Uh, so as Tom mentioned, uh, I uh, lead learning experience as vice president at Upgrad, right? And uh, I mean, as Tom simply put it, what learning experience means is uh, once a learner signs up for a program on Upgrad, uh, then the entire journey of the learner from onboarding, uh, you know, till uh, the learner finishes the program, and also becomes an alumni, right? Uh, because uh, Upgrad believes in lifelong learning, right? Uh, so we ensure that each and every learner who joins Upgrad for any of our paid programs, right? Uh, they obviously complete their program, uh, become alumni, and then we engage with them through the end of life cycle as well, right? Uh, so with regards to who we are, um, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes on that, right? Uh, so we have been around for six years and uh, very, uh, you know, very happy and proud to say the fact that we are uh, one of India's uh, largest higher education ed tech company, right? Uh, while you would have heard of many unicorns from India uh, in the ed tech space, obviously Upgrad stands apart in the sense that we specialize in higher, higher education uh, learning, right? And how we have done that over the last five, six years is obviously the three keywords as you can see on your screen, which is sort of part of our mission statement. Uh, given that we started in India, obviously accessibility to higher education was a key challenge, which we were trying to address, right? So that's where you see accessible. Secondly, higher education as such in India, in US and in most of the developed countries, right? The cost of higher education uh, in terms of going to a college and you know, sort of doing a postgraduate program uh, is, reasonably high, right? And that is clearly reflected in the percentage of people actually doing uh, or taking up higher education courses, right? And that's where affordability comes in. And last but not least, obviously it is about offering relevant programs, uh, which folks like you and beyond, right? Uh, who have studied on upgrad uh, come to us for, right? 
how we have done that obviously we started with a few programs as we started back uh, and now uh, at least we have a uh, you know a bouquet of more than 100 programs we offer in partnership with marki universities in india and across the world right uh, as i understand most of the folks here on this webinar uh, are uh, possibly looking to pursue an opportunity in the global management program right uh, yeah so first and for first first and foremost obviously the kind of flexibility we provide so our programs are tailor made for working professionals right uh, so you're not expected to leave your current job and sort of you get the flexibility to learn content at your will right while every program has a fixed uh, duration per se in terms of the the overall program your learning is quite flexible right you can spend a few hours on the weekdays you can spend extra hours on the weekends right our programs are a good blend of sync and async learning right async learning is obviously uh, content which we have curated and prepared in consultation with industry experts and university uh, uh, profs as well right so that's the async part sync learning obviously happens mostly on weekends uh, when you're not working when you have your weekly off and all the sync uh, sessions are obviously delivered by world class smes uh, who are uh, leaders in their own right in their field of specialization right and that's where the whole industry relevance piece also comes in right uh, because when you hear from people who are from that industry teaching a specific course or a module i think the impact is uh, is heightened as well as it ensures that you have a very enriching learning experience uh two three key uh i'll say advantages which upgrade gives you over any other learning program in the market is it's not only about content right it's about async content sync content as well uh, we also have a bouquet of services which we very proudly call them as career services right as part of career services what you get access to is uh, one to one industry mentor sessions right so for example if you're a learner pursuing a mba program right and looking at specializing say in marketing right so you then get the choice to actually uh, pick uh, uh, get access to a mentor uh, specializing in the field of marketing right and you have one on one sessions uh, with a mentor right in addition to that obviously uh, you have other opportunities on the uh, platform with re with regards to career services where we have coaches career coaches who sort of help you identify your personal development needs who help you with your resume right who help you curate your linkedin profile right and obviously uh, provide access to job opportunities in india right now but we are also parallelly building the same structure for uh, getting you access to op job opportunities even across uh, different countries in the world right so uh, to sum it up what we have now here established at upgrad is a uh, uh, category defining market leading product market fit and uh, the testimony to that is the fact that thousands of learners have graduated across our programs over the last six years uh, and we continue to do this at scale right and that's what brings me to the next slide uh, which honestly is a testimony of all the hard work which we have been doing over the last five years and the kind of confidence learners uh, sort of uh, have in upgrad right after completing a program on upgrad uh, some numbers out there more than two million learners uh, we have been able to uh, impact with, right? While we are an Indian ed tech company, a unicorn now, but we have a global presence already. We have learners from more than 85 countries uh, who have already been associated with us in one or more of the programs. The second statistic, again, a very key one. If you, if any of you do follow uh, ed tech industry metrics, right? these kind of completion rates are unheard of right even investors actually have shown confidence in us because nobody in this industry have has shown the kind of completion rates we have shown right 87 percent of anybody enrolling at upgrad on a program ends up successfully completing the program right uh needless to say what followed is obviously accolades across from different corners of the globe uh so as you can see uh we were amongst the best education brands uh, rated by ET in 2020. Uh, our most recent accolade is the one which you see at the bottom of the screen, which is the Brandon Hall Excellence Award, where in fact, uh, we actually were rewarded for a partnership we had done with a B2B company called Wellspun, right? Uh, you would have heard of Wellspun Group. Uh, so 
all of this is all of this and more beyond this slide is honestly a testimony of the work we have been doing the kind of product market we have uh, fit we have built and the fact that most of our programs are curated in line with uh, top universities and relevant to the current uh, market needs right and uh, as i was just looking at the some of the poll answers right some of you uh, are uh, experienced folks with more than 5 10 or 15 years of experience as they say learning honestly never uh, has an age to it right it's all about the zeal for learning you have and uh, uh, upgrade honestly offers you or provides you the kind of programs which are tailor made uh, you know for uh, you to sort of explore and pursue there on so yeah without further ado now i would uh, sort of uh, call on call upon ridhi who will now take you uh, through the specifics of the global management program we offer at upgrade uh, and the key highlights uh, of, about the program. Thank you. Yeah, Riddhi. Hi, thank you, Shashwa. Thank you so much. Um, it's nice to have you all, all here at this time. Um, and thank you so much, uh, Tom, for the introduction as well. Um, as Tom mentioned, I work as a content manager with Upgrad. I am responsible for managing a few courses at Upgrad, and one of them happened to be uh, the global MB and the product management courses uh, that we have. Um, again, um, it's something um, I think a lot of you would have joined the call because you want to pursue an online uh, global MBA or a product management course. And uh, Shashwat gave you multiple reasons as to how this course, how Upgrad gives you the right platform to pursue this. Um, one USP that we have um, is that all our programs are associated with one or the other university, uh, most of them. And uh, when you take up a program with Upgrade, you become uh, an alumni of that particular university. So uh, that's, uh, that's one of the things that we have as part of our feature. Um, when it comes to an MBA, it's very important that you have like an overall um, it's very difficult for an online MBA program to replicate the kind of, of learnings that you would get in an offline program. Um, hence, um, we take care of the entire pedagogy, the entire learning experience is designed in such a way uh, that you do not miss out on those elements, the face-to-face -face elements which you would actually learn in, your, uh, in an offline uh, MBA program. So one, we provide with um, great international business exposure. There are case studies that we have from all around the world. You're not just learning from people around you in your base out of the same geographies, but there are your peers, your coaches, your mentors, um, the subject matter experts, the faculty. They're there from all different um, genres and all different geographies. From They belong from different categories. And you're, you have that um, capability of, and we provide you with that um, atmosphere that you can learn from everyone there. Um, you pay a higher, uh, you pay a lower price, but you get a higher value. In case you are still, um, I mean, in, in the times of the pandemic, if it's very clear that uh, if you're spending the same amount of time in an offline world, it's not going to get you that much value or returns. Um, so definitely online MBA uh, is not only um, something that we, uh, that we want to push you for, but I, we feel like it's much higher value even if you were doing it offline. Um, you can build a great global network through the alumni base that we have at Upgrad. Like Shashwat mentioned, we have been, um, um, over the past few years, the past six years, we thousands of learners have passed um, through Upgrad by in, uh, and they have become an alumni of, of various universities as well as Upgrad. So you get access to that network, that pool of network. Um, we have also partnered with the top 1% of business schools globally. We'll be talking about all the business schools that we have partnered with in the upcoming slides. And uh, you can pick and choose based on the needs and requirements of um, how you want to pursue your MBO, MBA. Um, another thing is that like, um, like, like I mentioned before that the practical learning should not be missing out on any from anything. So with respect to MBA, it's uh, we make sure that our case studies are designed in a way, our case studies, our projects are designed in a way that you get exposure to a lot of practical aspects of MBA when it comes to peer-to-peer -peer learning or um, when it comes to uh, doing things hands-on, when it comes to your research projects. Uh, you will get hands-on experience on everything. Um, we also have some uh, options in tracks and specialization. So whatever uh, program you pick and choose, basis that you have access to some specializations and tracks. 
you um, again all these universities are globally recognized whenever you complete when you complete the program you get a proper certification and accreditation from the upgrad as well as the university and um, mba for most of these people as uh, like for most of us uh, when we saw in the polls as well there are people with 15 years of experience who are present here there are people with 9 years 10 years of experience present here um, and mba is such a program that there's no age or there's no limit to when you can pursue something so um, i would just say that it's step closer to your overseas opportunities and you don't need to limit yourself from your ex with your experience or where, wherever geographies that you're present in and uh, this becomes your gateway to the overseas world in that respect can we move ahead yeah so these are uh, three uh, programs that we have when it comes to global uh, masters of business administration we have one with the liverpool uh, business school um, it is one of the top universities in the uk um, it is uh, internationally accredited it has six specializations um, and you get you get to choose from whatever specializations that you want to so if you want to specialize in marketing or finance you can choose from that and that's how you want if that's the way that you want to proceed um, then we have uh, mba in swiss uh, with swiss school of business management um, again it's it's a, it's like a dba program so you add a doc, it adds a doctor to your name if you want to if you're joining if that's one of your motivations to join the program it also has um, an offering of personalized uh, thesis supervision so throughout the program you'll be working on a thesis and if that's something that you want to work on along with your program um, you will end up becoming a doctor by the end of it um, it's also um, accredited by uh, ac uh, B SP and educo uh, moving on the last one is uh, we have a global uh, we have another global mba with deakin business school it's one of the top uh, australian universities and uh, it's specifically curated for mid level executives who are aspiring to become a uh, who is aspiring to become senior leaders so um in again it's it's also fully accredited and um, um you whenever you complete the program you not only become like alumni of this particular university and upgrade but you get access to you 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 will have the same level of authority or the same level of um verification status as other uh, mba uh, learners yeah so this is uh, we if we have to go in details this is the, these are the details of liverpool business school um we start with research methodology the program starts with research methodology you get access to um how do you go about researching how do you go about building your research design um how do you do li literature review and everything and uh, once that is done once you have covered that part of the learning of the program you move on to your one on one thesis supervision so there is one supervisor that we have for every every learner in the program that mentor will be there along with you um, helping you on your thesis throughout the uh, program um, we also have another element uh, a learning element as a part of our program which is the small group uh, coaching this is a part of all upgrade programs um, that we have um, this this is basically where um, the entire batch is divided into smaller groups and in smaller groups is where uh, we take care we help you with uh, practice your tasks uh, help you with your doubt resolution sessions uh, whatever workshops and everything that we need to do we do in smaller groups of about 6 to 8 people um then again there are domain specific live sessions which become an interesting uh, learning element for this in particular mba um so in in case you want to pursue with the finance specialization or the marketing specialization we have def, they are, uh, we have different live sessions uh, by different experts across the globe on various uh, management domains such as these uh, next comes the deakin business school so one um, as i mentioned before that this is majorly for people who are trying to get to the uh, leadership level roles so this program basically focuses on leadership and strategy in management uh, it is again taught by the faculty uh, at deakin and um, it's uh, it, every like every course at upgrad we have great uh, subject matter experts from the industry coming and speaking to you interacting with you on on a on a um, on a on a face to face level we also have a capstone project as a part of this program which means that once you complete the entire program you would uh, be required to engage in a uh, 
complete you be required to put in your efforts and um, all the learnings that you had from the program you can apply it directly in the capstone project the entire program is divided into four units and um, these are the courses that we have um, again the mba program is designed in such a way that um, all different domains that you need to learn of when it comes to an mba um, you have access to all of um, you are trained on all of that um it in, it's we start from strategy formulation to strategic capabilities um then in unit 2 we move on to innovation by design innovating by insights again these are some topics which are which are senior leaders you would definitely need to uh, be adept at so um and moving on we are financing your strategy capital planning and raising and then we have towards the end we have international business environments and uh, high performance organizations yes so um until now we have been talking about mba but i'm sure a lot of you here would have joined um, would be aspiring product managers or would uh, product managers who are already in the same space for the last few years so this, this program is designed in such a way that even if you are an aspiring product manager uh, trying to get into product manager from the marketing the tech fields any field um or if you have been in the project uh, product management space since the last few years you can still uh, make sure th th that the program will definitely help you achieve your outcomes um whether you are from a tech background non tech background b2c space or a b2b space this program is designed in such a way that um it will help you um, learn the get the best out of it uh, and it will help you perform the best uh, you can at your job um the program is also designed in such a way that the program places you in a situation so when at the beginning of each course or at the beginning of each module that we have you are placed in a situation and um, towards the end of the course you have to come out of the situation after learn after solving and after learning those things um so um, the program starts with it's divided into five courses um it's divided into in such a way that you are able to work on a product from zero uh, which is in the zero to one stage and also on a product which is at its one to n stage so um we start with building a product strategy how do you understand the market how do you understand the competition how do you understand your user and end up building the artifacts like user persona user mapping um then you build the entire product vision and strategy for a product um again this is where you are actually placed in a situation you have been told that you are a product manager of xyz product and you have been tasked to do this and then you end up performing these tasks um the second course that we have uh, is the a uh, product design and prototyping uh, uh, course so once you have built your strategy you enter um, the design and prototyping stage here is where you learn about different stages of design thinking um you learn how to design a product how do you go about prototyping how do you go about um usability testing for your product again here it's this is not a main uh, this is not the main task for a product manager but you'll also learn how to work with designers you learn how to work with uh, different ui ux people in your team once the product is ready you have your mvp in place we then move on to understanding how do you develop the product how do you go about launching it how do you um build the go to market strategy for your product so that's what we cover next um after this there's also a capstone project so you are you have been given a problem and you build an end to end product strategy and a gtm strategy for your product um again like i mentioned it's something that all people from tech backgrounds or non tech uh, backgrounds would be interested in and um, you would definitely take something out of the course despite the industry or category that you belong to once we have completed this portion of the program then we move on to the analytics portion so once the product is launched how do you go about judging how are your consumer where are your users coming from um uh, how what, what do your users behave like where what feature of the pro product is not working for you what is working so based on that uh, we we teach about uh, product analytics and we talk about how do you go about uh, growth strategies um, how do you grow your product based on the data that you have and towards the end we focused on the we focus on the soft skills aspect of the program so this is where you learn to work with different teams this is where you um, learn how to uh, manage your stakeholders because that's that forms one of the major uh, parts of the as a your role as a product manager so this is where we focus on all of that yeah again so uh, shashwat would you want to cover this no it's all right well i'll i'll go through this really quickly it's um i just want to provide a little bit of context just following on from what you guys have 
discussed so far, just to sum up a few of the, uh, well, essentially the global learning experience that anyone goes through as a student uh, upgrad, regardless of what you're studying. But as we've covered already today, you're going to learn from top global universities. We only partner with leading universities because we know we want to deliver the best education. The value add that we have comes in so many different forms, but essentially education, it starts with the institution. Anything we can do to add significant value, whether it be a, a student's journey, how we help students put into practice the information that they're learning, that's where we come in and the, the platform that we provide um, really helps leverage everything that they're learning from the course. Something that's worth just expanding on a little bit is the live sessions that we have with global experts. Now, if you think about what the global education system looks like at the moment, it's actually traditionally, it's very archaic. We've done a hell of a lot to actually change that. Now, why is it archaic? Most people that study management programs at leading universities around the world, they come out of those programs one, two, three years down the line, and they've got a huge amount of theoretic knowledge, but they struggle then to actually implement in the real world to deliver commercial value on what they've actually studied. So while it's fantastic to have that academic, structured academic approach where you've got the theoretic and conceptual side of management and leadership, it's usually not delivered in a way which is actually providing a huge amount of value. So what do we do differently in order to do that? Well, it comes down to live sessions with global experts, the flexibility and freedom that we have to study any time of day or night during the asynchronous learning part of the program. But those sessions on the weekends, the live sessions, the synchronous sessions that um, Shashwa had mentioned at the very start, provide a huge amount of value. You've got the academic theory and the concepts, you go through all of the, uh, the academic learning, but then on the weekend, those live sessions help you contextualize what you've learned during the week. And we take you through real life case studies, okay? You work alongside professors, you get into, uh, to interact and uh, doubt resolution was mentioned earlier by Fridi. And, and one thing to just add a bit of context to that, this is a session where you get to provide feedback, you get to ask questions, you get to interact with people that are actually teaching the course face to face. The second part of it is unbelievably important as well. And this is where you interact with those real industry mentors, those subject matter experts who've got sometimes 5, 10, 15, 20 years experience in the industries that are relating to those courses and those modules and the subject matter. So if you combine all that together, we're actually very, very competently bridging the gap between education and industry that otherwise, with a lot of universities, and a lot of online delivery programs especially just isn't actually bridged and it's absolutely crucial for anyone who's listening to this live or who sees this as a recording that's something which is missing from the education world and it's something that we've we've had as one of our core values to actually make sure we deliver real implementable value so that's the live group sessions and the small group uh, coaching sessions with international experts one thing we're huge advocates of as well is peer-to-peer -peer interaction. As you can see here from the next point, we've got learners from over 85 countries. Now, what does that mean for you as a prospective student or student who's actually studying live? Um, well, it means that you're not studying alone. Most people, when they take a, a, an online program like this with Upgrad, a lot of them have never studied online before. Usually the traditional education is all they've gone through, which means they're used to face to face, they're used to interacting with, with their peers, bouncing ideas off people and learning from people that they're actually studying with and alongside. Well, we wanna create that real live classroom feel, okay? Interacting with peers is unbelievably important. You will learn from people who, for example, may have more experience in finance or marketing or business strategy or analytics. Because of that, you, you have a really global cohort, okay? So it's people from all over the world, as you can see, 85 plus countries, there's very few opportunities you will have to study alongside the same um, depth of, uh, of a cohort that we can provide on, on just about every program launch that we have. Um, the one-to-one -one mentorship sessions with global industry experts I have touched upon, but it's worth noting again, because this is again, something that's really gonna help you contextualize the learnings that you've got from the academic material, put it into practice in a real world, but there are also a huge amount, or there's a huge amount of guidance that they can offer in what the next steps in your career might be, okay? They can provide a lot of, uh, a lot of insight into how the industry actually works, how relevant certain bits of information are that you're learning and how to really put it into practice and deliver real change and real value for either yourself from an intrinsic value, but also from an organization that, that you might work with. Um, the next thing as well, global job opportunities. 
it's, uh, you know, it, it, we have to operate on an international scope when we're teaching certain courses. Now, management, it's, it's all about globalization. It's all about being able to deliver change and transformation with major organizations, potentially, that gives a huge amount of opportunity to people graduating from these courses to go and seek employment anywhere in the world, okay? We wanna make sure that you're coming out a well-rounded uh, management candidate for whatever industry that you wanna focus on. Lydia, do you wanna just have a quick run through? We, uh, I think we skipped one previously. Yeah. Uh, this is a question from uh, Rosaline in the audience also who would like to know about the DBA program. So um, I'll, I'll just talk a little bit about this, Rosaline. So um, like I mentioned, this program is for people if you want to add a doctorate to your name, if this is a doctorate level program. And um, every program that we have at Upgrade it starts with an orientation or a, uh, like a welcome module. So we welcome you to the program. We introduce you to all the faculty. Um, in the async content that we have on the platform, you will be able to see all the faculty that you will learn from, um, so all the features that you will have access to at Upgrad. So you, we start with that. Then we move on to, this program is divided into five different courses. So it starts with research methodology. Um, you, you basically start with, um, we talk about the basics of research. How do you go about researching your topic? How, how do you go about literature review? How do you um, uh, go about research your design phase? How do you go about sampling? How do you go about data collection? So all of that is covered in the first course. Um, basically, this is like a like a lot of, um, if you are already doing this at a doctorate level, this is like a revision session for you. And this is a revision course where you get equipped with everything that you, um, that you need as basics for your uh, thesis. Then we move on to the research methodology two course, wherein you get you go you de further deep dive into other levels of research. So you move on to talking about how do you conduct a literature review, how do you go about um, what is the importance of ethics in research, how do you go about making your research proposal, how do you go about um, building your thesis report. Along the side, you would obviously be working on your thesis. So this is where that all the learning from the program that you have, you have a direct implementation of it through the thesis that you're working on. So, and you would obviously have a mentor throughout the program who's guiding you on how to go about it. So after you're done with this research part, it's that um, then we uh, move on to going, uh, we move on to the writing phase of research. So how do you go about, um, we provide you with all the toolkits and the templates that you need as to make your research, to make your thesis better. And uh, you write a proper uh, research proposal, you write a proper research plan. And that's when, um, and everything that else that is needed as to make your thesis uh, the way it should be, uh, the citations that you need to do, whether they could be MLA or CPA or uh, the citations that you need to do or the tools that you need to use for citation or for your thesis preparation, all of that we will be there to assist you with. And towards the end, um, the end product, the main outcome of the program is that you get to publish your paper. So, yeah. Thank you very much. That's really insightful. And I hope that answered the question. If you've got any more questions, guys, please, uh, please send them through. Um, I'll leave it for another minute or so, just in case there's a, there's a couple have been formulated. And um, well, guys, look, thank you very much, uh, Rydia and Sa uh, Shashwat, uh, just for explaining your elements of what you do at Upgrad, because it's really insightful. It's I, I've learned something today, and I work with you guys, so uh, it's really helpful. For those that are on the uh, the webinar, um, please do not hesitate to reach out. We're here to help guide you find the right course. We want to make sure that you've got the opportunity to learn from the right people in the right way, so you can deliver the right kind of value. Um, any questions? Please uh, please skip through them. Um, and fire them in. Let me just double check, see if we've got any coming through. And if there's any on the chat, please don't hesitate uh, to ask. Uh, Tom, I think uh, we have a raised hand. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, we do have a raised hand. Uh, do you have a question, Sinzuru? I'm, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing your name right. 
Inzira, if you were if you're able to hear, it'd be great if you could um, put your question down in the Q and A box so we can uh, we can answer it that way. While you're typing that through, um, that would be fantastic if you could get that down. While you're typing that through, we'll uh, we'll just ask everyone when these questions are done. Um, if you've got any questions, you want to get in contact with anyone, then it'd be fantastic if you could just email us at admissions at upgrad.com. Um, there, there are graduations as well. I think Driti is, uh, is going to be answering that on the chat box. Um, any more questions? This is, uh, this is the final chance to get them through. If not, we are here. We've got a dedicated team of admissions counsellors who are here to answer all of your questions. If you want to find out what programme you're most suitable for, then that's exactly what we're here for as well. OK, we want to make sure we can direct you to the right programmes. So you start with the right process and you go on learning the way that you started, which is just making sure we give you as much value as possible. Um, guys, thank you very much. And again, please reach out to us at admissions at upgrad.com. Thank you very much. And uh, Shashwat uh, and Riddy, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it's, it's super excite, uh, super uh, insightful. Um, we have one question that's come through from Ashish. Uh, how will Deacon course ensure? I'm not really sure what you mean by that one. What I would advise, if you can, drop down a little bit more information in the question, but don't worry about it. We will get an admissions counselor to reach out to you to answer the questions that you've come through. Okay. How will a Deacon course ensure my growth? Yeah. I, yeah. Hi, Ashish. Um, thanks for asking the question. So one, I mean, it's a global MBA, right? So you, um, when it comes to growth and MBA, uh, through an MBA, you're exposed to different uh, different industries and you're exposed to different verticals within the space of management. So you, as I was, uh, when I was going through the program structure, you saw that we'll be covering about strategy, we'll be covering about finance, we'll be covering about human resources. So throughout the program, you would make sure, uh, we'll make sure that you are learning on each different aspect of the role that, that would be required from you as a manager. Um, in terms of your overall growth, there are three elements that are important in a program. One, the content that we spoke about. Second is would be the faculty that we have. So Deakin faculty, um, as well as the industry, uh, our global ex uh, network of industry experts who will be there to guide you, who will be there, who you can interact with on, um, on uh, across the program. Uh, those will make sure that you are properly trained and properly equipped uh, to be a good manager. Third element is the peers. So because this is a global MBA, you get exposure to different kinds of learners. You will you will be learning with this with people from India. You'll be le learning from people from. Um, Northeast Asia, you'll be learning from people with uh, uh, US, UK, Southeast Asian markets, everywhere. So there's a lot of possibilities of learning, obviously. Um, and apart from that, like Shashwat mentioned in the beginning, that we also provide career support as part of our program. So you don't need to just, and we provide you with a lot of interview tips, we provide you with career prep modules. So it's not just about learning as part of your program journey, but even after the program journey, you will have access to our content, you will have access to the peer network, to our career services, so that um, we will, so all of this will together ensure that you're growing in the space. That's fantastic. Thank you very much. Guys, any more questions? That'd be, uh, it'd be great to hear. We've had some great ones come through. And uh, really, thank you very much for answering that. That was, that was very, very insightful. Um, guys, get your, uh, get your final questions in. I know there's a couple of that have been answered uh, by the panellists, been typed out. So um, if we don't have any more, then uh, just a quick reminder, guys, I know I've said it a couple of times, but please reach out to us at admissions at upgrad.com. Um, we do offer payment plans as well for uh, for some, if not all, well, most of our courses. So if that's something that you're interested in, we can certainly facilitate that. Um, but as I said, you have to speak to an admissions counsellor to go through this process, to understand um, the, uh, the payment process, to understand the course in a little bit more detail. We've only scratched the surface on the courses that we've discussed today. So I would advise if you've got any questions or queries, get in touch. Uh, and we will certainly reach out and we'll make sure that all your questions are answered. Okay. Um, 